talking to somebody. He's my friend. I don't see him. Staring right next to you. Honey, he's not there. The third installment of the Paranormal Activity series goes back 20 years to tell the story of how the activity all began. Rated R for violence, language, brief sexuality, and drug use. So I really like Paranormal Activity for using this homemade style of filmmaking. And the first film was so low budget and got a huge audience because of this tension that you know, home movies can kind of add. You don't know if it's just going to capture a normal conversation or if something creepy will happen. Yeah, well, and I worried as these films became a little bit higher budget, I mean, they're still quite cheap, but I worried that as they got a little more of a budget that they would lose what made it so creative and frightening at the beginning. But they don't seem to have. They still have a lot of really unique techniques and, and um, different ways of getting thrills out of you that are very effective. So Now, you can't help but kind of laugh at the fact, like, why does this guy carrying this camera in this situation? You know, <laughs> this just seems silly. Nobody would carry a camera while they're running from someone trying to defend themselves. But it has to kind of work out that way. Yeah, I mean, you always have a little suspension of disbelief with mockumentaries or documentaries or, or these home movie style films because obviously when you're running for your life, you're not going to keep capturing it on film. <laughs> but but if, you just, if you're willing to avoid that, uh, which you can easily do because the movie's so engaging, I think that you'll really enjoy it. And I think the addition of having children added a whole new dimension of creepiness as well as storytelling, you know, yeah. being able to have all those characters interact. But there's something about creepy kids in movies that just puts it on a whole new level. Yeah, the the two little girls, it really it engages you so automatically because of course you're always going to feel sympathy for the little girls. You might not care if their parents get killed off, but you're always right. going to worry about the kids. There's an automatic connection there and yeah, it was terrifying. You're just so worried about what's going to happen to them and and yeah, every can they protect edge. themselves? Yeah. And I think we all worry cuz we have our own children and we want to think that they would be able to protect themselves. So, I would say official movie mom recommendation is if you're into scary movies this is a good one that doesn't have a lot of blood and guts so it made me think you know during Halloween and there's not a lot of Halloween movies coming out as we saw this week but some great Halloween movies that involve kids and one of my favorites is the original omen with Gregory Peck and uh -huh. it's had many attempts at redoing it but it's a great story about just kind of a creepy, evil kid. And you find yourself at one point kind of cheering, like, kill that kid, oh, kill it. And <laughs> then you reflect on that. You're like, oh, I'm kind of creepy now. <laughs> Well, you know that those exploit your worst fears of like, what if you had some horrible kid that just did terrible yeah. things? But yeah, I mean, the putting a kid in a horror movie changes the game entirely. I mean, my all-time favorite scary film is probably 28 Days Later, but as far as ones that involve children, I saw the original Exorcist when they re-released it in theaters a few years ago. I went and saw it, and that was my first time seeing it, and I was blown away. That movie was terrifying. It completely measured up to any modern horror movie, so if you're uh, looking for something to watch for Halloween, absolutely, that one's still got the chills. Well, sometimes you revisit these movies and they're not nearly as yeah. much as you had them built up in their mind and you're sad that you did the rewatch. Yeah. But I guess that's one that's great for the rewatch. Yeah. I also think Watcher in the Woods, which was a popular, I think it's even a Disney film. Yeah. But, you know, it involves kids and I remember seeing that as a young kid and thinking, wow, there really is something scary happening here rather than at all just chalking up to some misunderstanding. You know? Yeah, it's really creepy, but if, if your kids are uh, strong enough or strong enough stomachs for that kind of thing, it is something you could watch with your family if you guys yeah. all want to get scared.